So something maybe a wee bit different from me this week. Um, this week it might turn into a bit more of a kind of vlog style video. Uh, I'm going to be definitely doing my autumn decor at home. But recording this on Monday, um, you'll probably see it on Thursday. It's been a super busy weekend. I've been hosting family and friends, so spent most of the time cooking, entertaining, cleaning up, all of that stuff. Really great fun, absolutely love it. But it does take a lot out of you. And um, we've got a house guest this weekend as well. Here he is. There's Otis. Where's Otis? Otis. Even he's absolutely exhausted as well. We had two dogs in the family running around yesterday. It was pretty chaotic. Um, but I definitely want to get my autumn decor done because I haven't done anything yet. Haven't been on the trip and everything. We kind of um, were just not long back and postponed it. So definitely want to get that done. And I think just by picking up the camera and doing it kind of this way, I wanted to let you see that decorating for the season doesn't have to be this whole big production. Sometimes I think we get a bit intimidated and think we've got to set aside a whole day or a couple of days and know exactly what we're doing and it isn't like that. The whole kind of process for me is that it should be quite relaxing and uh, yeah, just it shouldn't be a big thing that you have to do. It should just be something that's really pleasurable and just a lovely way to spend some time. So it's pretty blowy outside just now. Um, it's kind of tail end of a storm blowing through, I think, but it's an improving picture later in the day. So hoping to get this one out for a nice lovely autumn walk later on in the day. So yeah, just thought I'd pick up the camera and uh, just keep it with me today and see where the day takes us. So let's see where we end up. So the first autumn update we're going to do, super simple, just switch out the stems in the middle of the table. So these have been my summer ones, I've changed them out a couple of times over the season. I quite like having something um, here because you've got a blank white wall behind you so it gives you something visually interesting to look at, kind of masking the, the blank wall which needs some artwork behind it. But yeah, let's switch out the stems for something a wee bit more autumnal. So for this I'm going to be using the stems that I picked up at my local garden centre and if you're looking for inspiration on where to buy some bits and pieces just to add some little autumn updates to your home then definitely check out that video um, on the autumn decor shop with me just for some inspiration on what to get and where to get it. So these stems I bought three of each usually working in threes is quite um, a good way to do it or odd numbers if you've got a really big big vase then maybe fives would work but I've got threes here and you're just going to start by putting them in and um, alternating them it's okay for them you know not to be right first time you're going to kind of need to tweak them a bit but yeah just have a little play around separate them out most of these stems will all be wired so you can just um, bend the stems a little bit to get more of the look that um, that you want So I just wanted to show you a couple of alternatives um, that you can do with this kind of display. So at the moment we've got this lovely creamy, neutral, autumnal vibe going on. But what you could do is add some green stems back into it. And there's a couple of reasons for this. It does kind of mimic what's going on outside just now. So it's probably still a little bit green. The leaves are just starting to turn in their colour. So it does give a true reflection of this transitional period into autumn. What it also does is allows you to reuse a lot of your summer stems because it can be a bit of a financial outlay to complete you know buy a whole new load of autumn stems um, and this just lets you reuse a bit of what you've already got now following years you might want to add to it but when you're just starting to do some seasonal decor it lets you reuse and then what I'll do is probably just remove the stems the green stems that is as the weeks go on again just to reflect what is happening outside 
And here you can see that I've just added in a couple more, which are that more kind of transitional color, a mix of the green and the autumn. And it just bulks out the display a little bit. And as I say, it just gives a truer picture, truer reflection of what's actually going on in nature just now. So next I'm going to update this little side table, kind of sideboard that we've got in this main kitchen lounge area. So the black lantern here was from the white company. So I'll see if they've still got anything similar and link them below. And the little green vases were from the seasonal touch. And again, I'll have a look and see if they are still available and link those below as well. So we're just going to take a look and see how we can just do a couple of little tweaks here just to update for autumn. So to the base of the lantern, I'm just adding these felt leaves. Now these are from the seasonal touch as well. So if there are any available, I'll link those below, but lots of uses for them. They're great just for adding a little touch of the season. So just pop them into the base of the lantern there with the full candle on top. And then I'm just going to add a couple of autumnal stems. Now, same as before, I'm leaving my green stems in here. Um, again, that's what's happening in nature outside at the moment. We've still got a mix of the green and the autumn colours. And it just saves a bit of money because then I don't need to have the whole thing as the autumn colours. And I might just take them away as the weeks go by and just leave the autumn stems. And so here I've just got a couple of smaller autumn stems that I'm popping in here just to give a little bit um, of autumn colour there. Just tweak them out a little bit. And then this is the pumpkin that um, you may have seen that I got from TK Maxx or HomeSense. So they may still have those available there if you are looking to get one of those for yourself. So I've also got this little table, set of tables to the side of the TV. So we're just going to add a little autumnal touch to this area as well. This lantern is also from the White Company. And if I just swing round here, you'll see our lovely Acer in the back garden. It's turning the most gorgeous autumnal colours. So that's what's happening outside. I just want to bring a little touch of that inside too. So I've got this area just on the end of the kitchen island and I'm going to just style it up um, with this little tree. I think I'm going to look for a different tree for this spot. Um, usually you find that when you start to decorate, you think, oh, I could do with something else for this spot. But this one will do for now. And I'm just going to add into it um, this glass vase in kind of an autumnal colour and I've just popped one of the big size tea lights inside it there and then to it I'm going to add um this is a little pumpkin copper pumpkin with a tea light in it I got this in America oh quite some years ago I've got two of them but they come out year after year because they're just really pretty and then I'm going to add to it these two little kind of dried gourds. Now, when you're doing kind of little vignettes like this, then working in different heights is quite pleasing on the eye. Um, and then you can kind of arrange them in a bit of a spiral coming down the heights. 
and then different textures so we've got the glass and we've got this kind of woody effect and then we've got the the copper um so yeah and threes odd numbers i know there's two of these but to your eye it will kind of read as one item so odd numbers usually work together in a, a kind of little pulled together display so that's probably one of the just for nows i might change this out later on Okay, next thing for a little switch up is the coffee table. So this is how it's looked for uh, spring and summer. And just to keep things really simple and to show you how easy it is, all I'm really gonna do is switch out this um, central part for something a little bit autumnal. Everything else I'm just gonna leave the same. I'm gonna leave the coffee table books the same um, and then just switch this out. What would be really nice is some seasonal books on the top. So I might have a look and see if I can find something that's a bit more of the season. Um, this is a book on seasonal decor, but yeah, that's what you can do. And then, you know, maybe in the spring you have something about flowers and planting. And then, you know, for Christmas, you might have something a bit more um, like a Christmas carol or something like that on there. But yeah, let's just change out the central part here and see how we can refresh it for autumn. So I think I might try and keep these stripe balls because I've got a lot of black and cream going on in the decor. So I think I'd quite like to keep those. But I'm going to switch out the greenery and maybe add in some of these um, little pumpkins that I've got here. And then maybe some of these shorter stems. Uh, yeah, just to give it a little bit more of a kind of um, autumnal feel. Always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will okay so complete change of mind in the end so i did decide to switch out the stripe balls for the more kind of natural moss balls because i just thought that they looked better with all the natural items in the display and the faux candle here which is ideal when you've got little um, pets around or small children or whatever um but yeah so that's just the little table center so really easy and you know when you start to do a bit of seasonal decor you tend to collect things like these little packs of um like little acorns or these are natural pine cones that i've just picked up on walks in the wood a couple of faux stems so you end up building up a little collection um, and I've got my kind of, I've got like a little like baggie here of different things and yeah, just keep them together and then use them in displays as and when. But yeah, that's what I've decided on for the table centre. Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the 
inside of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past And that's it for this week. Part two of this Autumn Decorate with me will be next week where I'll be bringing you more ways to bring the autumn season into your home. And if I can ask you just one thing before then, it would be to consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It all helps the channel grow and allows me to continue creating more content for it. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week. Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go